when we communicate with the Arcturians or the Palladians or the Antarians or the Venusians, when we communicate with the beings that are fifth, sixth, and seventh dimensional beings, it's a completely different thing that if we talk to somebody who's on the same frequency of reality. In my writings, I've been hearing a lot about frequencies of reality. So I'd like to talk a little bit about frequencies of reality. It's that next leap of talking to something that is unseen from your third dimensional perspective. It's allowing our own higher message that somehow comes in and very often it seems very weird. It's like, why do you suddenly feel like you have to water that tree? You know, why do you suddenly feel like you want to call that person on the phone? And so you can decide, oh, that's too crazy. I don't want to do it. Or you can say, you know what? I don't know why this happened, but I want to find out. I'm going to take a moment here and bring in the Arcturian. <sighs> we, the Arcturians, are very happy to be able to report to humanity that you are beginning to use more of your brain power. It used to be that most humans, they maybe use 10%, maybe 5% of their brain power. But what has been happening? And part of it has to do with the internet, because the internet shows so many things about going to outer space to your third dimensional thinking. But when you see that show, or you read that book, or you have that feeling, and very often it starts like a feeling, you can have that feeling. And I say that feeling because everybody has their own that feeling. There isn't a right one or a wrong one. <laughs> you have a that feeling. And the very first and most important part that you could recognize that feeling. Jump in there, would you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's talk about that feeling. And just like you and the Arcturians were saying, yeah. every single person has that. Mm -hmm. And to give it an example for me, I always experience that feeling when I have a past life memory come in or when I have a communication of a higher resonance or if I'm just in my flow that feeling is always present and it stems from our high heart so we have our our heart chakra yeah. and then we have the high heart which activates our unconditional love and so for many of us when we are remembering our times in the higher frequencies, whether that was on earth or off, those are all realms and experiences in unconditional love. And we don't always get that here in the third dimension, but we're bringing that frequency forward from within. So the more we pay attention to that feeling, the more the insights come in and the more our inner power increases. Yes, and the more we can remember. That's the main thing that I keep getting, that what the Arcturians keep saying, is that we are here for love and light. We, the higher dimensional beings, are here for love and life. And we are here because the planet Gaia called us. Now, in other words, you have to First off, you have to believe that you have love and light for a planet, and then you have to believe that that planet can, can give you love and light. And then you also have to realize that unless you can accept that there is love and light that comes to you from a higher being, from a higher situation, then you'll never know what love and light is. The very first thing 
is to communicate with your own higher dimensional self. And we all have like guides, like on the third dimension, we have guides. Okay, my first higher dimensional guide was the Arcturians. And the Arcturians have been my particular guide for all, all of my life. And I love what you said about remembering we have our own higher self. That is the highest version of us. And to me, it's almost just like if you imagine this higher part of yourself, your consciousness, it's like this being that's always meditating inside of you. It's that always present, always aware, always observing even when we're in the 3d or we're stuck in emotions or we're stuck in our life there's always that higher aspect of ourselves that's just meditating just unbothered just observing just fully present and we tap into that higher part of ourselves when we too become present that's i think that's a really important part that you don't have to sit in the same time same place and say om for an hour you know uh Sometimes we will do that, especially if we're stuck in a bad situation, then that's okay. You know, because you want to get to your higher state of consciousness. I have a thing, when I go to bed at night, I write and see what they have to tell me. And, and usually the Arcturians come in. And one of the things that they say over and over is that we are the creators of our own reality. And sometimes that's hard to do, especially if, if one is having a bad time um, or if something bad is happening, you know, a war. What, what we need to do when we get stuck in any of those types of what is wrong situations then what we need to do is flip over to what is right. What is love? What is security? What is the best I could do? And so you don't want to spend too much time in the, oh, this is wrong part. I mean, yes, you have to bring that up. But if you go to the doctor and the doctor says, oh, you're really, really sick. Okay, goodbye. That wouldn't be a very good doctor. But if you go to a doctor, the doctor says, oh, I can see you've got this problem and this problem and this problem. And we'll do this for this problem and that for the other problem. And this other problem you might have to figure out for yourself. But at least, you know, it's, we have to take responsibility for our lives because it does not help us at all to be a victim. That's why it's very helpful and important that we get in touch with these higher dimensional guides. So there's like the Arcturians, the Antarians, the Palladians, the Venusians, and these are beings that resonate to a higher frequency of reality. It is our challenge within this now to allow ourselves to go beyond that third dimensional description of life and allow ourselves to go into that fourth dimensional description of life, fifth dimensional description of life and as far as one can go. But, but you have to go and open the door. Yes, and you have to know why you're opening the door too. Is it just because you want to know? Or, and which is great too. I mean, learning is yeah. awesome. What's your intention? What do you want to change in your life by opening that door? How do you want to walk in the world? How do you want to be in the world? when you learn about this new aspect of life, yourself, so on and so forth. And I think seeing us in what it is that we're seeking for 
is really important too because then we remember we have it inside of us so i've seen with a lot of people that look for you know oh like i just want to you know know if i'm this galactic being or if i'm that kind of galactic being it's just like you know just you're looking for validation on the outside yes switch your lens go inside and then from there just live the answer and it's so much simpler than we make it in our heads i feel like i i like the the switch that what did you say switch the S- switch your lens yeah switch go your to that. lens yes switch that's your lens <laughs> Switch your lens from being the outside lens of what's going on all around you and all this stuff that it's all around you and it's not your fault and switch your lens on the inside from you know what is wrong and why I can't to what I can and will I do it and more and more every day people are are not just going within they're going above and they're they're realizing that uh this is a planet that this is a planet just like our house is our house our job is our job this is our planet some people unfortunately they fire themselves from their own life and usually that's they were taught they were taught that they were good enough usually people that give that to others they got it from somebody else and so who knows how many generations it was that well you're not good enough you need to this or that and then maybe just maybe you'll be good enough but the reality is you were born good enough every single person was born good enough the higher dimensional being they know that the humans they have chosen the humans that have chosen to get to be born within this now and to be on this planet within this now this is a group of kind of special people because this is going to be a special time and i well me so speaking for myself I don't know exactly all the details of what the specialness is, but I can really feel it. We the Arcturians. We are able to feel the higher and the lower frequencies of reality. all intermingling with each other and what is occurring within this now is that because there are so many new diversities that are coming together that people are almost pushed in to opening their mind and opening their heart and feeling that there is something that is different something is happening it is happening so therefore we the arcturians have to say to all of the humans thank you so for taking that courage to believe in the future that you feel inside yourself you came to earth to bring to fruition and the more people that can remember that they have chosen to take a body within this now and be able to look into the future without fear and with love and with knowing that if they go inside for their own love and their own knowing they'll begin to remember why did they take a third dimensional vessel within this now that appears to be such a challenging now 
Well, the answer is because they are courageous and they live in love and light for all.